What's up creatives? Welcome to The Tiffy Show. If you haven't, make sure that you turn on notifications so that you know when I post a video because it's all over the place. And make sure you follow me on other social media. It's down below. We're going to be talking about signs that your ex, no, got that confused. Signs that your man is still in love with his ex. And this can apply to everybody. So your ex still in love with their ex or your soon to be ex is still, you get it. So your boyfriend is still in love with their ex. These are the signs. Now, when you get in a relationship, a main thing that you always wanna know, I feel like me, I always wanna know is like, when was your last relationship? And you just wanna make sure it wasn't yesterday, cause then you're like, fuck, I'm like the super rebound right now. But you wanna make sure there's like a good amount of time between that, but you also like to see their tone and how they talk about their last relationship or whatever. If you don't, ever do that, you should probably start because it's a good sign. If they start, like for instance, if they happen to mention, oh, my last relationship, I've always been one to get out of relationships by cheating, red flag, red flag. But that teaches you something. You're like, this motherfucker likes to cheat. So then you know. But if you don't ask those kind of questions, you don't know. Number one is they talk about their ex all of the time. Now I'm not talking about that nosy girlfriend shit where we like to bring up the ex for no reason <laughs> and have them talk about them. That is not the same here. That is you trying to get information. I'm talking about they bring up their ex in this weird positive light. No matter when you're talking, they did it on the first date. They're like, oh, you know, like Susie, she was awesome. Like we used to go on sleigh rides. That's how they just bring them up all the time in a very reminiscing of this like angel, magnificent Marvel superhero girlfriend that they had. And you're just like, whoa. Red flag number one, they just bring them up all the time for no reason. Oh, Jasmine had a jacket just like that. And you're like, okay. Sign number two is if they talk to their ex on the DL and you know nothing about it. There are relationships where the person is very close with their ex and their significant other know about it and that's fine. Baby mama drama, whatever. Everyone has their own situation. The problem is you not knowing about it. If they're talking to their ex or telling their ex really big things about their life or secrets or things that they don't even tell you, that is a problem. They are still emotionally connected to their ex and they connected to you. So you need to cut that shit real quick because that is a red flag. They need to figure out their emotions there and they're kind of just using you to fill this void because they want their ex. And then sign number three, ooh, ooh, I had to do that because don't you let them do this. Don't you let them do this. It is comparing you to their ex in a negative light. And what I mean by that is the ex is winning. They compare y'all and the ex won. So it's like if you cook dinner or you don't cook dinner and they're like, man, Jasmine made dinner for me or Rebecca, a woman named Rebecca. These names mean nothing, guys. Rebecca used to cook for me every Wednesday and you don't cook at all. And it's like, okay, like I fucking work two jobs, but that's fine. Rebecca didn't do shit, but doesn't matter. <laughs> the matters is that he's comparing you to someone and you're not even winning in this situation. So he's already painting you as the loser in a negative light, making you feel bad for something that you have no control over. So that is red flag number three. And those are three really important signs that who you're dating has not gotten over the last person they dated. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you share, like, subscribe, and comment. Comment below. Let me know any red flags that I missed, and I will see you next time. Stay creative.